Hello, we're going to talk about the ribbon in this response. This is a direct question that came on my blog. And what the user wanted to do was the view tab. You see how we have an unsaved view here? The person actually has created views that the name is longer than what it is. So we'll just do a new model space view and call it my new viewport or my new view. I won't do anything. My new view that has a long name. Select OK and select OK. And you can see there's a little bit cut off, similar to the layer combo bar. So what we'll do is we'll go over the combo bar first, and then we'll show you how to change that one as well. So I'm in the CUI. I'm going to type CUI at the command prompt to bring up the customized usable interface. And it comes up. And we're going to first select my workspace, which is, which is the Civil 3D one, which has my quick access toolbar which has my layer combo control bar right there. And you can easily right click here to add it if it's not there and you can see that. So layer combo control, I'm gonna change this to 400. And this depends on your graphics card and your screen. I'm gonna select okay and, and exit the command and you'll notice my layer combo control bar is now 400 you know, pixel units wide. So the question was, it, that's how you do that. But the question came down to the view tab on the ribbon and how to do the same thing for the unsaved view. We're going to type CUI at the command prompt again. And remember, our, our layout combo control bar is controlled in the, the actual QAT, the quick access, access toolbar. So I'm going to pull out the ribbon here. And then I'm going to look under tabs. And in AutoCAD, it's not going to say Civil 3D. It's just going to say View. So I'm going to go to Civil 3D View. Same concept, though. View for 2D. You're going to pull out this property. So I have View, Name Views, Visual Styles. You can see it brings up the palette here. What we're talking about here is this unsaved view. So how do we change that? So let's pull that out. And you see I touched it, and now I'm in row one, and I have an NAN, which is just a default value. I'm going to change that to actually 300 and 300 for minimum and maximum width. Select Apply. OK, and watch my ribbon tab as it'll change on that view for the unsaved view. And I'm going to go back to the view tab, and you're going to see now my long new view name displays there. That is one way to change in the model space view tab or the name view tabs the width of that particular panel. So I'm going to left click, I'm going to drag my panel, and you can see you can leave it out there and save your workspace as that, and then simply touch it to pull it back up into the ribbon. Thank you very much. This has been a quick tip from CAD Pro Tips.